Hey guys! So today we are answering a subscriber question and the question in question was Frederick, is it necessary to learn object-oriented programming in IT? So let's get into it. Well, I would say yes and the reason is very simple and that is that most of the industry uses object-oriented programming in some fashion. It's actually very rare to find a project that uses just some type of other purist approach such as functional programming or imperative programming or proced like, no, sorry, procedural programming I think the term is. And the thing is that I know that functional programming is extremely popular these days and to be honest it's been around for quite a few years but the norm is still to use object-oriented programming. What reasons that may be, I would suspect, has to do with the popularity of programming languages that are such, such as Java, as an example, or, the, or C Sharp, where, I mean, that is pretty much the paradigm. And it is kind, it's, it's a little bit, I don't know if somebody's told you this, but it is a little bit of a lie to talk about functional programming as this thing that is just you know, objectively better than object-oriented programming because the fact of the matter is that it, there's nothing to prove that this is actually true. Some people will claim that this is tr the truth, but the fact of the matter is that you can write good or shitty code in any paradigm. There are pros and cons with the different approaches and I will argue that the, the problem that you face is the thing that's going to dictate which is going to be the better approach. But when it comes to mass adoption and it comes to just having a default approach of doing things, then object-oriented programming is a very good choice. It is the choice that most companies made a long while back. But with that said, that doesn't necessarily mean that every single project is just all through and through made in an object-oriented fashion. It's kind of this lie, I would say, that some people will, well, it's not like we, it's not like people do it necessarily consciously, but you, push things for, uh, you push paradigms like this to the point where it seems as if this is just, you know, people do it in one specific fashion, when the reality is that you will have segment, like you, you will have segments of code that is written in different styles. It's, I know that we are supposed to write, you know, probably heard this yourself, we write as if it's one person who wrote the whole code base. That is absolute bullshit. It is absolute bullshit. There is not a single damn project under the sun that has like a, which a major project now where you just go through all of that code and it is written in the exact same way. We try to be as consistent as possible, but there is no one project that has a perfect just through and through object oriented approach where nothing seems like it seems like it's just one single person who wrote the whole thing because the, I mean, the cost of having something like that, it would be enormous. And these these are these are the truths of the industry. It's uh, we have to make a distinction between what's ideal an idealistic viewpoint and what's actually happening. And what's actually happening is that most of the code is going to be written in object oriented an object oriented style. But that doesn't mean that there's no like segments or use case for functional programming within that environment. It depends on the company and the culture and if you have some architect that really tries to push these sorts of things. So, I would say that you need to learn object-oriented programming. You may not like it all that much, but it is basically considered to, it's considered to be basic knowledge. It's, uh, it is. I can promise, I can all but promise you that if you go in and you say, I'm never going to use object-oriented programming, I'm just going to use fu functional programming, then you will never be able to truly work in, in like, then you, the vast of the majority of companies will not have a place for you or rather you will have to really try to find a company that pushes for those paradigms because I'll tell you a big secret no one cares no one cares companies don't give a shit if you use functional pro most of them anyway they don't give a shit if you use object-oriented programming or functional programming they want a solution written in software like a software solution made and they want it to work and they want it to be on time that's what they care about. And if they have already invested in one way of working, which may, which highly likely is object-oriented or object -oriented programming, and you're not happy with that, they're gonna just pick another developer. 
So you're going to have to ask yourself whether or not the, these paradigms are more important to you than actually getting the job. Because odds are that unless you understand object-oriented programming, you can actually produce good results within that paradigm. Most companies won't have a place for you. There are companies who are pure, it's functional, but they're a lot rarer than the people and then the companies who use primarily object-oriented programming. So what I want you to take away from this is that you should absolutely consider object-oriented programming to be like a core skill within IT. There are certain fields where it's like where it might vary a little bit if you do embedded systems and things of this nature. But for the most part, when you do enterprise level development, object-oriented programming is the standard and however you feel about it doesn't really matter because the companies don't care if functional programming is better they already have invested in object-oriented programming and they're not going to rewrite all that code just to make you happy i'm sorry to say have a great day